Good morning. How is everybody doing? Okay. Here's my phrase for you for today. The plan that works for you is the plan that you stick with. What does that mean to you? I think sometimes people think that because this page is labeled the keto mom page, the only way to eat is keto, right? Or we have an accountability group and most people are trying to eat a certain way, right? They're trying to follow all of the right, like all the rules and all the regulations and the things that say yes and no to, whatever the case may be. But what if I said the plan that you stick with is the plan that works? I heard this phrase the other day and I was like, man, that's really good. Because oftentimes people jump so easily from, well, this isn't working for me, so then they go over here, and this isn't working for me, and, oh, this worked for my girlfriend, but I can't figure it out. Why? Because we are so ingrained in this instant gratification that people aren't willing to get, to dig in their heels and to give it, like, to give it a long shot, to give it a long, like, a long vision, like a year. When somebody here is like, oh, you're gonna have to work on your health and fitness for a year to get to where you wanna be, it would deter so many people, right? Nobody wants to hear that they're not gonna see results for a year. I'm not saying that you won't, but what if I just simply said this? The plan that's gonna work for you is the plan that you're gonna stick with. It's a plan that you stick with long-term regardless of what it is, right? Making better choices. What I'm simply saying is this, is this is an accountability group for you to check in every single day right? And whatever it is that it is for you, check in and say what you're working on. But my encouragement to you is to get your mind outside of a week or even a couple months and go, guess what? Like I'm committed to this, whatever this is for you, whatever your eating looks like for you. We all know that we have to eat better, right? We all know that if we want to be in better shape, we need to go to the gym or we need to work out or move our bodies. We all know that we need to drink more water. We all know that we need to just stop saying no to the ice cream, right? Uh, whatever that is, what I'm simply saying is give it long term. Because here's another thing is whatever you're doing right now, is it, is it, I often hear this, hey, I, I just need to lose some weight because I have a wedding in September. Or hey, I just need, I'm going on vacation in November for a week, so I need to lose some weight. But I would challenge you in thinking that whatever you're going to do, right? Whatever your venture is and whatever, like our family said, you know what? Like this wasn't uh, me just trying to lose the last little bit of baby weight that I had on, the 10 pounds of baby weight. This was about our family getting healthy. And so what I, what we've done is we've been able to make this a sustainable we have done this for three years. We eat a specific way. We we move our bodies. We ex we explain to our kids why we eat the way that we eat. But it's been three years in the making, right? But I would say that's long term mentality, right? That's we decided we what we were gonna do, and we committed, and it works for our family. And I can help you with that if you need help making it more of a lifestyle approach, because anything worth doing, if you're not gonna be able to sustain it long term like if you're not going to be able to sustain what you're doing may next year is it worth it maybe maybe to go on vacation and look 10 pounds lighter but i would challenge you in shifting your mindset to go this is about my long term like your life right long term you're going to be around for your your kids and their kids kids and you want to I, I would just you know lastly i was talking to a girlfriend last night we went for a walk after the kids were all in bed and I said, you know, I meet so many people and talk to so many people that are not nearing the end of their life, but they are in a position to work. They're in a position. You don't choose to get older. You get older, right? Um, and, they're, and they're in this phase of life where they're getting older. And I said, I meet more unhappy people and more unhealthy people than people that are loving life in their 70s, 80s, 90s. And I just said, I wonder what that is. Like, you, I mean, you get tired, right? And I get it, and they're getting older. But what if you can shift that? And what if you can do and make your life longevity-wise? There's one, actually, there's one person that I got to listen to. His name is Kenneth Ford. And he spoke at one of our events in May. And he said, what if you could do the best you can, eat the best that you can? What if you just feel good, right? And this is how he explained 
life should be like. He said, it should be like this. Happy, 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 happy. You're still in your 60s and 70s and 80s. Happy, 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 happy dead. Like, and everybody cracked up laughing, but we were like, you're right. Like, why do we have to get to this place where long term, you just, you just exist? I don't want that. So my challenge to you today is think about two things, right? The plan that will work for you is the plan that you stick with. That's it. So whether it's some people go, ah, oh, they're vegan. Is it working for you? Or they're vegetarian or they eat carnivore or they go to, what, what is it, right? The plan that is going to work for you the best is the one that you're going to stick with long term. Three years. Our family's been going three years and I've never felt better ever and we're still going because we can make it a lifestyle. So number two, think about this, is what you're doing right now sustainable long-term? Like, are you gonna keep going after the vacation or after the wedding or whatever your goal is, are you gonna stick with it? That's my question for you today. So, I hope you have a great day. Check in below, I appreciate all of you. I really could sit here and babble all day long because I just like to talk to people and nobody can talk back to me. I mean, you know, like you're talking back to me, but nobody could yell at me or, or whatever. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. I appreciate you all. It is the fair week where I'm at. So we love the fair. Be watching for some fair food posts. Yes, I'm going to do the best. I don't like fair food really. So I probably will get a turkey leg. Um, but hopefully I'm on a quest to give people a great fair experience and do the best they can with their food. That's it. So I appreciate you all. Have a great day. Check in below and we'll talk to you soon.